I kept looking down at Earth wondering, what is it that we're not paying attention to? How do we take care of Spaceship Earth and its inhabitants? When I got back to Earth again, I began to realize we should take a look at the oceans. We're, we're, we're harvesting at a rate which we can't afford. Across four decades, Hubs SeaWorld Research Institute has completed hundreds of studies that have helped to understand and protect marine species and ecosystems on which the human species ultimately depends. And in the history of aquatic and marine science, few names are more distinguished than Hubs. Carl Hubs, born in 1894, became one of the nation's foremost marine biologists of the 20th century. One of the lasting contributions of Dr. Hubbs was his work with other scientists, businessmen, and the founders of SeaWorld in San Diego to form a vital new institution for marine research in 1963. You have Carl Levitt Hubbs, a world-renowned scientist. You have SeaWorld, probably the world's premier marine zoological park. Right there is a synergy that's been developed over the last 40 years that represents the best in science and the best in education, marine education and entertainment. One of the great features of Hub Sea World Research Institute is that it works with everybody. It collaborates with the government regulators, it works with field scientists, it works with other institutes to really solve problems. And it's very important that that happens because then we get to the answers. The collaboration and partnership is very special simply because of the work that we can do together with the acoustical work, for instance, with killer whales, also with the manatees and entanglement and the great work that this hub staff does in terms of helping us with stranded animals and the problems that are going on out there in the wild. Marine experts rush to rescue a beached whale in Brevard County. These are pictures from the Hubs SeaWorld Research Institute. Since pilot whales travel in groups, they fear others may get sick too. Tell us a little about what we know about this whale right now. Uh, this is a pilot whale. It's the second one we've had in two I'm days. guessing, just a guess, it might be 2,500 pounds. It's very important that they not push the animal back into the water. Uh, the whale is a large one. It is 17 feet long. He's lifting equipment to come in here and try and help them lift the whale off of the beach so they can take it to their facilities in Orlando. Hub SeaWorld Research Institute is embarking on an exciting new era of endeavor and discovery. Even the visionary Carl Hubbs could not have foreseen that the Institute would extend its reach to Florida with a new coastal research center on the Indian River Lagoon. It was here in 1903 on nearby Pelican Island that President Theodore Roosevelt established our first national wildlife refuge to protect brown pelicans from extinction. Our geographic location here on the south beaches of Brevard County is unique. The Archicar National Wildlife Refuge is the most important national wildlife refuge for sea turtles in America. Uh, we are looking at what sea turtles do in the Indian River Lagoon and the importance of this habitat to sea turtle conservation. People ask why marine research and why do it here? Uh, we have people who boat, who kayak, who swim. We have the Indian River Lagoon which supports a very rich and very productive fishery. And so we are really conducting research in a community that's not just a community of natural habitats and species, but it's a human community as well. My family's been in the commercial fishing industry for, for many years here in this area. My grandfather had a bait house out on the old Titusville Pier, and now we have this seafood market, and of course our, our seafood restaurant, Dixie Crossroads. We're really excited about Hub SeaWorld because the, the research that they're going to be doing in the estuary and offshore is going to be valuable for the commercial fishing industry. I think what differentiates Hubs the most is that it's a non-advocacy based science institute. From a personal perspective, I really value the work that they do in terms of conservation and the science that they're providing. And professionally, I, I work in the tourism business, and I think preserving uh, Florida's number one resource, our oceans, is vital to tourism for the state. Ron John liked the people and also felt that their goals at Hubs were very important to what Ron John wanted to accomplish in returning to the sea some of the benefits derived from it. The Discover Florida Oceans license plate is available throughout Florida. And we're very excited about the proceeds helping Hubs build laboratories and support the marine research that's very important to our community. When you look at all the various places that a Darden could invest its money in research, 
Uh, one of the things that we in liked most about hubs was that they were very comprehensive in their view, but they were very focused on the oceans. No longer can we view the world's oceans and wild species as unlimited resources able to endure any and all human influences. Hub SeaWorld Research Institute scientists are dedicated to learning how all forms of life are woven together so we don't go on tearing critical strands from the cloth. Well, you know, personally I like to sail and I'd like to think that, you know, my two-year-old son is going to enjoy the same beautiful coastline and resources that our state offers uh, when he's old enough to sail and out on his own. That's important to me. It's impossible to imagine Florida without water. These water resources define our state. They define our communities. They actually are the foundation of our economy. Hub SeaWorld Research Institute invites you to become our partner in conservation, research, and education. Your contributions build a living legacy for our children and future generations. What is more generational? and investing in the health of the oceans, which are absolutely critical to sustaining life on this planet. And to have the premier research facility for that located right here in our community, imagine the possibilities. <laughs>